Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Cupcake and today I'm bringing out a class setup video as I promised on Twitter. Um, I have two different like class setups. I don't really know how to explain them. Um, really, anyways, um, let's get right into the class setups. For the guns, I don't really use like um, like the freaking professionals or whatever. Unless I get like ones that I like. For the AK-12, what I recommend is the feeder. The feeder, which is this one, because you get extra ammo and a higher clip and whatever. And the bleeder, which you get plus two damage, but it lowers the fire rate. I still like it. Um, I have the RIP on one of my accounts. I don't really like it that much just because it lowers the ammo. Um, so that's that. The BAL, I have the Steed. I have two of them on this account, which is crazy. But um, for this... for all three of these classes are the same, but let me just explain why I use the perks. Um, these class setups are for 100% solo gameplays, like when you're playing solo and going for DNAs. They're nothing else. Like I wouldn't use this class for anything else but that. Um, so low profile, just in case you're running against people that are spamming UAVs. Blind eyes, just because like people get those care packages on some maps and those annoying streaks can kill you, and they're sentry guns and shit. Just it's just good to use. Um, I have another variation of a class where I don't use blind eye though. And toughness, just to reduce flinch and scavenger. Although I, I haven't been really using scavenger, I mean um, toughness that much, just because I'm trying to I'm trying to like stray away from it because it's not that great of a perk as it was in previous CODs, but it still really is good, but I don't think it's as needed. Um, let's get into the kill streaks. For I I run UAV system mech. And Warbird, sometimes I'll just run UAV and System Pack depending on my class setup. Um, yeah. Anyways, for the UAV, I put on Support, Threat Detection, and Assist Points. Um, you guys are probably wondering, why do you run Support? It's so weird, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's just because you get them more often, and when you get them more often and you use extra Assist Points, it helps you, let's say, like, you die on a streak, right? Um, and you're close to your UAV, you'll still get that UAV since you're running support and the assist points will help you get your next UAV and your system hack quicker which is why I run it and threat detection is obvious so you can see the people through walls and shit um, my system hack um, I do disable exosuit extended time and some a lot of people do extra extended time I used to I just find it's better just to put assist points just because You'll get your UAV quicker, your your support UAV, and it just racking up those points helps more like than the extra 150. It doesn't really matter. Um, Warbird, I don't really like the Warbird. I just run it just because it's better than running like an Exo ability or Exo launcher. Um, I I run aggressor, so extra time and rockets. All right, that was kind of weird, but I run aggressor. Because I put rockets, and the rockets can kill you. And if you put defender, um, it's going to be shooting mostly next to you. And I don't want rockets shooting next to me. This shit would be AIDS. Um, my warbird actually killed me when I was on a 26 in the stream the other day. And everybody was laughing, so that was embarrassing. So that's pretty much the same class setup, just for uh, these two guns. Same attachments, everything. Um, for the ASM-1, this is my favorite ASM-1. Probably, I have a lot of them. Yeah. I want my other accounts. I have the Speakeasy. The Speakeasy is really nice as well because you get grip. That's awesome. Like, if you can get grip. Anyways, um, right here, we have these attachments. I, this is what I find the best. Sometimes I'll run Quick Draw instead of Advanced Rifling, but I, I prefer these ones the most. Um, I like the Rigger because you get plus two accuracy, which it's a straight laser, like... Like, look at this. Shit does not move. It does not move. Anyways, that's that. Um, usually this class was the same as these ones. Like, I just had it copied and pasted. Um, but I guess I changed it. I didn't even realize. And basically, it's just for, I guess, if I am want to, like, run on flags and stuff. I took off blind eye and put on flag jacket. This is more of a DNA class, just so you can get rid of the Warbird and you know like what streak you're on when you're playing. So that's that. Um, this class is nothing. Uh, it's like this isn't an actual class I use. It was just to 
level this up and get attachments for fun, for the stream or whatever. Um, this class is if we're running into tryhards while we're going for DNAs and whatever and they're spamming system hacks, just throw this on. It's the same as the other one except it has hardwired instead of scavenger, pop that on. Um, I used to have lower streaks, I don't know, I changed them I guess, but it's not too bad. I just realized that my face cam has been on top of the class setups the whole time. But I guess I've been telling you guys, my bad, that's, that's, that's a fault on me. But uh, right here, that's hardwired. Um, I guess you guys can still see the class when I zoom it out. I guess, I don't know. Anyway, um, that's that. And then here's my second version of my class setups that I've been running as well. This is my lethals, where we, we don't really go for DNA. It's just got to go for 100 plus. We have all these kill streaks. Um, let me move the face cam so you guys can see everything. I apologize for that in the beginning. Leave that there. Alright. Sorry. Um, so that that's that. This is the class for streaking. You can take a picture of it. I'll go in depth of it real quick. Um, we only have two attachments, so we can have extra kill streaks on this one. And low profile again, stay off radar. Peripherals, so we see the whole entire radar on the whatever. And I told you guys I don't use toughness that much. We put on hardline instead. We get our streaks quicker. I don't really want to go in depth, but they're just streaks. You can see what I have on them. It's to get the 100 plus. This class, now these classes are pretty much the same as the other ones that I was telling you guys about earlier, except uh, I put hardline on this one and toughness on this one. I like the AK-12 the most, and I took off blind eye and put on peripherals. This was kind of a longer video. Hopefully you guys liked it. Um, it works for me. If this video can hit 30 likes, we will upload my spawn trapping class setups. That's on a whole nother account. Um, I think I have the best spawn trapping classes. Here's my KD with the guns. <laughs> yeah, I love the AK. My accuracy with the AK is crazy. I don't like the BAL that much anymore. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you want to see my spawn trapping class setups. And we'll see you guys in the next one.